base. I'll make sure to leave a link to my foundation routine in the cards up here so you guys can click on it if you would like to check it out. But I was thinking of just doing this like um, an iron lip tutorial today just because I've done so many videos with my foundation routine already in it and I thought you guys, you know, it's going to be probably a longer tutorial with this eye look so I thought I'd just make it as short as possible. Short and sweet I guess we could say. So let's go into it then honeybee. So I'm thinking of doing like a prom look today. Like a fall slash prom look just because it is going into like formal season especially here in Australia. But yeah so I thought I'd do kind of incorporated fall for all you guys up north and prom for all the people down under like me going into formal prom season. Let's get into it. I'm just rambling too much. <laughs> so as usual I'm going to grab my 350 Morphe palette and grabbing the soft brown shade to use as my transition colour in the crease just to start off this eye look with. Sorry if you guys can hear my Spotify playing in the background. I just love to have music playing while I'm doing my makeup and this is just like a sit down, chitty chatty, formally look so I thought it'd be fun to do. Just to jam out a little bit. And what I forgot to say before is I'm keeping it pretty rounded today which is really rare for me. So I want you guys to just follow the socket of your eye instead of dragging it out towards the tail of your brow. We're just going to follow from inner to outer corner with that transition colour. I'm going to next take the Coralie shade, the Coralie red shade from the Morphe 350 palette on the same brush and just whack that in the crease following the shape of our eye socket. When focusing this product on the inner corner, because we are bringing it from inner to outer corner, you want to make sure that you're keeping it, kind of dragging it onto the lid so that it's a bit more compact in the inner corner, because this is a quite quite a fluffy brush. I want it to be a bit more smokier towards the brow bone here, but a bit more closer to the eye socket in here, so it's not too close to the brow. So just wiggle it nice and tight in there and you can drag it out like towards the brow S a smidgen out here. Taking Bitten on a Batik crease brush I'm going to start focusing this colour on the outer corner and blending it towards the inner corner. And I'm still following the socket of my eye, so where the brush just slots in there, it fits in. Just kind of wiggle it through there. Not bringing it all the way to the inner corner, just about two thirds will do. And then bringing some of that Coralie shade back, just to blend out any harsh lines and to help that transition. Just using very light, soft motions above that bitten shade to lightly blend it out. Next we're going to start cutting the crease. So I'm just grabbing this ordinary eye concealer brush and some of my foundation. I'm just going to cut my whole crease. So from inner to outer corner. Start carving away my dear. Start carving away. Once you've cut your crease, we're going to set that in place with a white eyeshadow, just a matte white. I'm going in with this one from my 350 palette and just on a flat shader brush to really pack on that product. Taking a pencil brush and some of that Coralie shade, we're just going to re-carve out that crease to give it a bit more definition. And just softly buff out that line if it's a bit harsh. Then growing Bitten again on the same petite crease brush, we're just going to pack it onto the outer corner again and through the outer crease. Just apply a little bit at first and just build up from there, bringing it slowly into the center of the lid. And just going back in with some of that Coralie shade on the same fluffy brush from before and just softly very very softly blending out the edges next I'm grabbing shimmer shimmer and I'm placing this all over where the white is on the lid 
And I'm just bringing this about to the center, like I'm not going past the center of the lid. And just lightly blend bitten into shimmer shimmer with the side bristles. And just a little bit of product to create that gorgeous gradient. And because this is like a fall prom like formal kind of look, I think I might go a bit extra and do some shimmer on the outer corner as well. Just on the lid and keep the crease matte. So I'm actually going to take this gorgeous foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Curtain Call. Oh my gosh guys, this is stunning. And I'm just keeping this focused on where we cut the crease, so on the lid like I said, and feathering it into shimmer shimmer. Oh, it's so pretty guys. This is my new favourite foiled eyeshadow right now, like this gorgeous burgundy shade. And just go back in with Bitten to deepen up the very outer part of the lid and help it blend into Curtain Call. Help that crease area blend into it. And just because I want a bit more gold in between, I think like I want a bit of gold in this look, I'm going to use Untamed, which is another gorgeous foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And on a Zoeva pencil brush, I'm just going to lightly dust this in between Shimmer Shimmer and Curtain Call. To help them transition into each other a little bit. And I'm literally just lightly dusting it in the very centre of the lid with the side bristles of this pencil brush. And feathering it into either colour on either side. Like feathering it into each of those. So it's just a, it just breaks up those colours. It's so pretty and it's so fall appropriate too. Next we're going to create a nice extravagant wing, angling it up towards the tail of my brow and bringing it back into the inner corner. Once I've got our wings drawn on, I'm going to do a glitter cut crease connecting it all the way to the winged liner. So just following the line that we created when we carved out our crease as a guide. And I'm using this gorgeous Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Topaz Twinkle and I'm just using the glitter side of it. And you should have your glitter cut creases looking a little something like this. So next I'm going to place on some mascara and lashes. Before I place on my lashes, I'm first of all going in and just tight lining my eyes with this black um, eye coal from Makeup Geek in the shade Obsid Obsidian. So the lashes I went in with today are in the style Fluffy from Anitude. And they're so wispy and flirty and fluffy. They're just perfect for like like everyday fall look because they're just so wispy like I just love these lash lashes baby I love them so next I'm going to place a nude coal liner in my waterline to really open up the eyes I don't want to go in with any black because I feel like it's a bit more harsh I do want this to still be a very flirty very girly look especially for prom or for an everyday fall look or you know, anything like that if you want it to be more smoky you can put a brown eyeliner in or a black to make it more sultry and smoky but I'm going in with nude. Next taking Bitten I um, Zoeva like definer brush I'm going to start wiggling this really tightly against my lash line to define it up a little bit more because when you put a nude in there the lash line can get a bit lost so I'm just going to really redefine that. Next on a Zoeva pencil brush I'm going to grab some of that corally shade and just blend out Bitten so it's nice and smoky. Then taking that very fluffy brush from the beginning and sort of that transition shade, we're just going to buff out any harsh lines. For an inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to take this Violet Voss palette and I'm taking Moon Gleam and placing that for my inner corner and brow bone. And then just place on some of your favourite bottom lash mascara. And that's the eyes complete. For lips, I'm thinking of doing like a ready lip today to tie in with the fall theme. I think it'll really go well with this eye look. You can totally do a nude if you want or any other colour that you feel would suit best. But I'm just going to go in with this Zoeva Matte Chat Liquid Lipstick. And this is the completed makeup look guys.
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. It's free and you guys get to stay up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. If you just want to keep watching my videos. I'm happy with that too, darling. But I love you guys so, so much. I'm so grateful for all of you guys who've subscribed. And also just like for watching my videos. I'm so thankful to all of you. So I hope you have an amazing day. If you guys do recreate this look, please make sure to tag me in any social medias. I've linked them all down below in the description bar. If you'd like to like um, tag me in them so I can see your recreations. Otherwise, have an awesome day, guys. And I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye, guys.